Graphics can play an important role in your InDesign projects. InDesign can import a wide range of graphic file formats from JPEG and native Photoshop or PSD files to Adobe Illustrator files, as well as PDFs and more. In this newsletter design, you'll place several graphics using different methods. You can open this file from the practice files for this tutorial if you want to follow along. Graphics you add to an InDesign document need to be in a frame. You can create placeholder frames that you can add the images to later, or InDesign can create the frame for you as you place or import a graphic file. To start, you'll create a placeholder frame, then you'll place a graphic in it. In the Tools panel on the left, press and hold on the Rectangle Frame tool to see other types of frame shapes that you can create. Select the Rectangle Frame tool. In the document, you'll draw a frame. So starting on the left edge of this column at the top, Click and drag to draw a frame that spans both of these columns. When you get to the edge of the column on the right, a small arrow will appear next to the pointer. That means that the frame will snap to the column guide. When it snaps, release the mouse button to create the frame. With the frame selected, you can now place a graphic in it. To do that, choose File, Place. The Place command is used to import graphic files, text files, and more. In the Place dialog box, navigate to the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. In the Links folder, select the image named Jellyfish. On Mac, you might need to click the Options button to reveal more options. On both Mac and Windows, make sure that Show Import Options is not selected. You can change options about the graphic as you place it, but we don't need to do that right now. Click Open. The image is placed in the frame at 100% of its original size. So if an image is larger than the frame, some of it may be hidden. If the image were smaller than the frame, it wouldn't fill the frame. You'll learn more about resizing and fitting images to frames in the video in this tutorial on moving, resizing, and fitting graphics. Next you'll have InDesign create a frame for you and also place an image into the existing frame you see down here. When you place a graphic, if a frame is selected, the graphic in the selected frame will be replaced by default. Now we want to avoid that in this case. So choose Edit, Deselect All to deselect the image. You can also place multiple graphics, which can save you time. You'll do that next for these two graphics. You can either choose File Place like you just did, or click the Import File button in the Properties panel on the right. So click the Import File button. In the Place dialog box that opens, navigate to the downloadable practice files for this tutorial, and in the Links folder, select the image named Sea Lion. To select another image, press the Shift key and click to select the image named Sea Turtle as well. Then click Open. Since no frames were selected, you should see this loaded graphics cursor now. And you also should see a thumbnail of one of the images and a number telling you how many graphics you're placing. If you press the right or left arrow keys on your keyboard, you can cycle through the images. When you see the image of the turtle, this one, move the pointer into the third column over here, press and drag to create a frame. As you drag to place the image, you'll notice that the frame is drawn in the same proportion as the image. In other words, the width and height of the frame change proportionally together. Release the mouse button to place the graphic. When you place a graphic this way, you're essentially scaling or resizing it as you place it. Now there's one graphic left to place in the loaded graphics cursor. The frame you see down here has an X in it, which means it was created with a frame tool and is most likely a placeholder for a graphic. To place the image in this frame, move the pointer over the frame. When the loaded graphics cursor changes, you should see a parentheses now, Click to place the image in the frame at its original size. Now that you know how to place graphic files in Adobe InDesign, start exploring the different methods you just learned. You can begin by adding different types of graphic files to your own projects.